They're faking to Whitman going through. It's Lester Williams, number 73. Boy. Third down, 11 to the 23. It's Major Ogilvy, his first carry, out to the 25. So Miami tough defensively on Alabama's first series, and the Tide will have to putt. Rector through the middle. After the 47-yard line, start a red-shirted freshman, Jim Kelly, out of East Brady, Pennsylvania. Lorenzo Smokey Rome is one back, and Gary Brecker gets the start over Chris Hobbs today. Jim Joyner, number 13, has good speed. Their big man is Pat Walker, who's averaging 26 yards per reception. Up front for Miami, they've got Steve Brady at left tackle. Art Kehoe is the left guard. Don Bailey took over in the Penn State game as the starting center with the corny on the right side. John Kenai is the right tackle. And the tight end is a freshman, Andy Barada. From the 47, Chris Todd in the game now. He is the sole running back on second down. And he goes through the middle, puts one tackle, moves to the outside, and a first down at the 49-yard line. Wayne Hamilton, number 94, running him out. Kelly with a long count and a straight drop. And a quick out is incomplete. Incomplete. A late whistle. The crowd, after Brodsky couldn't handle it, thought that Tucker may have picked it up. On well, the replay, let's see if the officials called it right. The ball is bounces up in the air, but it had hit the ground. Good call by the official right on top of it. Kentucky. First and 25. Kelly on a deep drop and a lot of protection and going long over the middle and incomplete at the 23-yard line. Larry Brodsky was open momentarily with Jim Bob Harris covering on the play. So they go deep over the middle as Schnellenberger had indicated to us yesterday. When you see this from the end zone, you viewers watch that uh, Brodsky is wide open. He splits the two deep secondary, and this young freshman quarterback lays it right in the basket. Watch it. He just doesn't control it when he falls. Tough break for Miami on first and... Kelly to the air again. Moves out of the pocket, looking over the middle, going for Brodsky again, who had a step, and it's incomplete. Batted away by Tommy Wilcox. Brodsky had gotten out in front, but the ball hung. And Kelly is now 0 for 3. Let's watch the end of the play. You can see that Brodsky is open again, but the ball hangs just a little bit. As we say in coaching, they outran the ball. A little bit further, it would have been a touchdown. So Miami, again, they flex Travis to the left. Out of the wishbone. The fake to Whitman, Sheely, then pitching back. It's Billy Jackson to the right side, picking up about four. Stopped by Fred Marion, number 31. And the free safety is a key man defensively against the wishbone. So Marion should see a lot of action today. He's got deep in the backfield. On second down and seven, Sheely will put it up. Then he decides to keep, and down he goes. The loss of one, Lester Williams, bottom of the pile, number 73. Al, talking to my Alabama coaches yesterday, they said from the 27, no score, early first quarter. Sheely, protected well, throws to Pugh out of the 43-yard line for a first down. Keith Pugh, their leading receiver, that's his 14th catch of the year. Keith Pugh runs a perfect pattern. It's a comeback pattern, pattern, making the defense think deep. He controls the ball just before he steps out of bounds. That the viewers, if you watch Pew, he's going to make the defensive back Coleman 25 think deep. Watch him push deep. Now Coleman turns and runs. He's at a decided disadvantage on the comeback pattern completion. On first down from the 42-yard line, Jackson out to the 44 for a minimal gain. Stopped by Barrett. Second down and eight. Sheely going over the middle. Wide open is Travis. No question about it. Touchdown.
to the tight end, Tim Travis, number 88 out of Bessemer, Alabama. He was open by 10 yards. Let's watch it again. It's an option play to the left. Now, what happened, and the reason he's so wide open is the defense took the float to the right and watched Travis. He is 15 yards in behind everybody. Number 88, Tim Travis, the tight end, getting in here, trying to win his 19th straight. And with their unique kickoff style, it's in the direction of Bentley, who comes back to the 23-yard line. Alabama doing something on the kickoff. Hobbs and Rowan are the running backs. And Kelly giving it to Rowan. And he is racked up. Five Alabama defenders are right there. From the 25. Kelly going deep again. Looking for Walker. Incomplete. Double teamed again. Jim Bob Harris back there along with Ricky Tucker. Harris nine. Tucker is 18. Tucker again. One of the leading receivers in the country. Pat Walker has a 26-yard average on per completion. Number one in the nation. Watch his little burst right there. But Harris, the safety man, comes over. Jim Bob Harris, number nine, to That's break it up. I would say that Kelly has be out of the wishbone, wide right, and they work out of the eye. And up the middle goes Whitman, the fullback, who picks up about five yards to the 43. Watch the Jackson sent out of the wishbone wide left and from the eye again. It's Whitman through the middle. Should have the first down close to the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line. Sealy breaks a tackle territory out of bounds at the 38. Tim Flanagan was a man who had him totally wrapped up number 90 and Sealy able to slither away. Stedman is a man who ran for 190 yards against Mississippi State two weeks ago. Watch the quarterback escape the arms of Flanagan number 90. He goes back out the back side. No one there. Makes the big game instead of a loss. That's what a great quarterback can do for you. It's on the ground from the 36 yard line. Pushing it back and Major takes it to the 32-yard line. Stopped there by Lester Williams. Take a look at the free safety who was also involved on the play, Marion. Well, we, we can determine that they are going to make Sheedy uh, pitch the ball. Number 31 is Freddie Marion, the safety. And watch him come up and support the run right at the line of scrimmage. Ogilvy keeps his legs driving and picks up a few extra checks at the 32. Sealy dropped at the 31 yard line. Lester Williams and Moselle Axon. Wrapping it up. Five. Whitman through the middle. Inside the 15 to the 12. When we look at this again, let's determine the offensive line. These young seven blockers have been there all year, this year and last year, returning intact. Look at the hole that they opened up for Steve Whitman, number 45, and he just keeps his feet pumping and goes into the secondary for a big game. 32 yards. Healy, the pick back to Ogilvy, cuts inside and gets down to the 11. Gain of a yard or two, Barry Gonzalez, number 97, a senior from Hialeah, Florida, made the stop. Eight from the 11. Major Ogilvy. Tim Flanagan, number 90, moving laterally to get him. Oh, he's a fine football player. Number nine. And McElroy's kick is good. Alabama, a drive cashing in for three, and the Bear looking for a win number 101 in the 1970s. Watch Bama on the kickoff again. There they go, trying to confuse the blocking assignment of the receiving team. And the kick into the end zone at the goal line. Coming out with it is Joyner. Straight up the middle, moving to his right, past the 20. Joyner has one man to beat. Brings it to his left. Joyner is tackled at the 35 of Alabama as Don McNeil was able to chase him down, number 28. Exactly what
what Miami needs at this point, down 10 nothing. Now, Miami need a break like this, and Jonah has the ability. Watch number 13. Cuts to the side, and he sees a hole right up the middle. Alabama had left a gap right in the middle, and Jonah took it. Don McNeil was a safety foul. Safety man number 28 finally wrestles him to the ground. So for me, at the tie, 35. Kelly wasting no time putting it up. A marker is down. Brodsky has it tackled at the 29-yard line. After a pickup of six, Jim Bob Harris, number nine, covering with a penalty flag. Third and 14. So a most inauspicious beginning for that man, Kelly, now 0 for 7. Well, Ke Ke uh, Kelly's going to hold the ball a little bit too long, but watch. Watch the effort by Randy Scott, number 50. Look, it looks like a tidy and catching that ball. Excellent play of Randy Scott, number 50, the linebacker. Side to 25. Sealy. A little bit of room over the left side, out to the 29, Barry Gonzalez and Bob Nelson. Nelson, 91, wrapping them up. A little bit different option play. Sealy, toward Pugh, makes the catch in Miami territory. And out he goes at the 47-yard line. Keith Pugh running it out. Gene Coleman was covering on the play. Team average passing coming in with Alan Gray now in at quarterback. Spelling Sealy here. And down to the 40-yard line, Steve Whitman. Got about seven. It'll be second down and three. Let's watch him again. He's checking the fullback, and he has to take 230 pounds and seven from the 34. They let Jones try it again, and he gets tripped up back of the line of scrimmage. Lester Williams is a man of third down and a long six. Sealy, the straight drop this time. A lot of protection. He's got two wide open, but it's batted away at the last moment by Marion. 31 is the pass hung. Pugh was out in front. Let's watch it from the end zone, and you're going to see that it's a, just a drop back pass by Sheely simply because it's one on one, and Pugh is trying to out execute Coleman, number 25. Watch it right here. Cole, Marion. From the left of your screen, deflects the ball, ball at the last instant. Going, tipped up in the air, tipped the screen, and an interception at the 40 yard line. Into Miami territory, and out of bounds as the Crimson Tide take over. I think we can understand why Alabama has only allowed five touchdowns in nine games. Watch their quickness, their speed. Wilcox deflects the ball, but Castillo has a little tipping drill to the right to the left hand, but he's not going to give up, right? He's still going to make some yards after the bat. Five seconds remaining in the quarter. Mitch Ferguson. Gray couldn't pitch it. Stopped just about at the line of scrimmage by Moselle Axel, number 56. Second man through is Jones, who gets it. Jones over the right side, first down. Jim, uh, Al, I was going to say Jim Bunch, number 63, and that's Paul Bear Bryant. You know, I was going to say, Al, that uh, most people might think he's truculent or a little high-handed, but I've known him 35 years, and he's lovable, compassionate, warm-hearted, and generous, benevolent guy. We all love him. First down from the 20. Flag down, Alabama jumping off as John Hill is stopped at the line of scrimmage. I'm going to say that Jim Bunch, the off Healy, is back in at quarterback. Second down and 10. Travis splitting to the left. He caught the touchdown pass in the first quarter. Billy Jackson. Stopped at the 23-yard line. Barry Gonzalez, 97, and Freddie Marion, 31. 
the tackle. I think the reason that they in Tuscaloosa as Alabama has it third down and 12 at the Miami 22 after a timeout. Shealy giving it to the first man through Whitman who picks up about four. That means we'll see McElroy again. Dave Jefferson and Moselle. And give it to the sole running back, Breckner, who finds some room, takes a couple of tackles, and gets it out to the 23-yard line. And a good one-man effort. Jeremiah Cassidy, three wide receivers in the bunch to the right. Third and seven. Kelly looking that way, going to join him. They're trying to set up the screen. He cuts back inside and takes it out to the 27-yard line. They'll have to punt. Curtis McGriff, playing six in on the stop. Well, we, on the isolated play, we can watch for a screen. Two men pushing deep. And, of course, joining number 13, coming back behind the line of scrimmage to make the reception, picking up the blocking of the lineman, but uh, Alabama's quickness was not allowed, but just short yardage. You can see how many red shirts are there on the play. 96, Curtis McGriff on January 1st. Second down and six. Shealy. To the 48-yard line goes Stedman, where Mark Smith comes up to make the stop. Five from the 48-yard line. Through the middle goes Ferguson. Short of the first down by about one, Jim Burt. The switching again from the 10-yard line on first down. And there's nothing cooking in the middle for Chris Hobbs, number 33. Rodriguez on a roll. And complete out to the 19-yard line to Andy Barada, the tight end. See where they spotted. He's close to a first down. Watch it from the end zone, and we'll see what uh, Rodriguez is doing. He's rolling out so he has a little more time. He's buying time, and he finds Barada, 84, breaking outside. And finally, uh, Jones, 97, and Hack 18. 18. First down, just outside the 20. Joiner, they set up the screen, 25, and drops at the 29-yard line. So Miami's starting to move a bit. First down. Rodriguez looking for Walker, and incomplete at the 26-yard line. Ricky Tucker back there with a number 18. Now that was a sensational for number 27 who's had his average of 27 yards per reception. He's going to think deep, and he goes deep, but Tucker right back with him. Watch him jump and play the ball. He has it momentarily, but he couldn't control it. Incomplete. Half 10, Miami at the 34. Roderick scrambling out. He's got some room. 40, and out to the 45-yard line for a first down. Thomas Boyd, number 90, the leading stadium. Brian Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Hobbs finds nothing. Alabama splits its home schedule like Arkansas. The Razorbacks play half in Fayetteville, half in Little Rock. Alabama. Roderick, deep drop, and lost it over to Hobbs. Into Alabama territory and close to a first down. Thomas Boyd finally caught up with him at the 46-yard line of the tie. That's a sensational run by Hobbs. Uh, Randy Scott had the B line from 83, put the real pressure on uh, Sheely. Jim Burt, the nose guard, watch him just come right over the top of Sheely after he threw the pass. Second down and 10 from the 27. Through the middle goes Whitman. Steve out to the 35-yard line. Bob Nelson made the stop. Good offense into the Bear in the waning moments of the half. For Pugh again at the 41-yard line. Number four, Keith Pugh. He was hurt, missed some action, as did Ogilvy. Watch. It's a play-action pass, and Pugh is faking to the inside. He turns Coleman, shoulders to the inside. By the time Coleman comes back, number 25, Pugh catches, controls it, steps down in boundary, completed pass. And a half. Sealy looking Pugh's way again. Looking at the 24, another first down. 43 seconds, 42. The clock momentarily stopped by the first down. Dave Jefferson 
can't be amazed that uh, Miami won't double cover with less than a minute to play. Look how wide yeah. open he is, and the only way they can get hurt is on a pass. Most unusual remaining from the 24-yard line, Sealy. Hugh is covered this time. Now he gets open for the moment, and it's batted away. Hugh ran it down and out. He was covered over on the sideline and then started to move toward the end zone, and that's when Stedman tried to find him. Let's watch a few again, and you'll watch how a receiver improvises once the quarterback starts scrambling. Now he sees the quarterback scramble. He goes deep, and just a great effort by Coleman, number 25, for Ben's completion. I believe they corrected, put it at the 29. And Sheely scrambling. And then throwing incomplete. Nobody was there, and no time remains. 18, they trail. Joiner coming back to take it out of the slot to the 20 yard line, picking up about nine at the 19. Straight drop by Kelly. Down he goes, back at the 10. Good coverage in the secondary, and that enabled Wayne Hamilton to have time to come in, circle around, and drop him for the sack. Catch. Defensively, they've got one again on the left side to the Hurricanes. Number 90, Lester Williams, a highly recruited left tackle, now a sophomore. Jim Burt, team's leading tackler. The middleman, 83. Bob Nelson, number 91, out of Baltimore, Maryland. On the right side, and Barry Gonzalez is a senior from Hialeah, Florida. Right side. Whitman, the churning fullback, to the 46. The rest of the Miami defense with Scott Nicholas, 66, the weak linebacker, and Moselle Action, number 57, the other side. Gene Coleman has picked about five interceptions this season. Mark Smith, versatile. He can play both safety spots or the right corner. Dave Jefferson is the strong safety, number 30. Freddie Marion, number 31. Five, tied from the 46. And it's Billy Jackson who gets it into Miami territory. I think he's here. It's third and less than a yard. And it's Major Ogilvy carrying to the 46. So they use all three backs on that series. Whitman on first down. Jackson on second down. In a moment. First down from the 46-yard line. Sheely scrambling inside the 40. Stedman moving to the outside. Nice move and run out of bounds. At the 31-yard line, another Bama first down. Excellent, excellent poise by Sheely. First down at the 32-yard line. Major Ogilvy finds some room through the middle and takes it close to the 21. He just wanted to run on first down. Bama leading 10-0. Sheely on an out to Pew. At the 12. This close to the goal line should be playing him a little bit tighter. He doesn't have depth to, to defend against. He's open. Here's Coleman, 25, knocked him out of bounds, but two. Giving up 40 points all year. First and goal. Bama just inside the 10. Takes a Whitman, really on a keeper, and gets about half the yardage as he gets to the five yard line. Jim Burt wrestles him back 83. Tuscaloosa on second down and goal. Who can't get in, but he does get to about the yard and a half line. And of course, Sheely's going to have to pitch the ball because the end's going to force him to. The ball goes right out to Jackson, and a good block by Oakley, number 42, frees him down to the two yard line. Finally, Coleman rests to the ground. Second man through is Jackson, and they stop him. Look at the bear. That was excellent goal line defense by Miami. They got penetration, no place to run by the Jackson. That man right there, 36, John Daniels. Is Watch it again. Number 36, Daniels comes right back and throws Jackson right back towards his own goal line. Great play. So in. And it's Ogilvy. Touchdown. They get in to make it 16 to nothing.
we can watch and see that the goal line play for Alabama is just two backs leading. Ogilvy makes a tremendous second effort right here. He leaps. I don't believe he gets over right there, but then when he twists, you can see the feet in the left part of the screen going over for the touchdown. Found official utilizing all their backs. Kelly scrambling out. Looking for the sideline and bumped out at the 22-yard line. Second down and six. Ball at the 44. Orcutt, Ben Orcutt, number 29. He gets out to the 40. No, he's 35 and five against his pupils. From the 15, Kelly racked up as he throws and it's picked off at the 48-yard line by Ricky Tucker. Tucker has done a marvelous job today handling Pat Walker, the wide receiver. Al, you just can't continually go deep. As you can see, Alabama's not going to let you go deep. They are too sound a football team, and you can see that Tucker's right back had it played beautifully. No chance for Walker to make the reception. Let's watch the interception again and watch number 18, Ricky Tucker, an outstanding football player. He's got his head right on that ball, the eyes on it. He plays it perfectly at his height. Interception just as he would 520 to go in the third quarter. And the pitch to Mark Nix. Got a couple. Seven. Ray picked up at the 35-yard line by David Jefferson. There, Bryant, you mentioned it earlier, Frank. He said he's got Sheely, and if he goes down, he's really in trouble because they've lost Jacob. First down at the 36-yard line. And it's Orcutt to about the 30. With so much depth, he's fresh. Pair the ball just a few times. Gray has it batted away at the line of scrimmage. Greg Zapala, 65. Getting his arms up. And Brown. 17 to nothing, Bama. 3.30 to go, third quarter. And Mitch Ferguson, one-man effort. It was interesting because there was some missed timing. You could see it there. It was not a clean hole back. Then he puts his eyes right on the tackle. The key tells him to take it outside, and before Flanagan can catch him from the rear, he pitches the ball right out. Off cut comes right down for the nice game. Triple option worked perfectly. Down and four. Orchid again. To the 12. Loose ball. And who's got it? It's Miami. So Alabama, a team that has had some problems this year, putting the ball on the ground. They haven't done it today until now. Now they've had 33 fumbles. Uh, and he takes over a minute 42 remaining in the third quarter. And it's Hobbs getting out to the 19. Second and four. Hobbs again. Out to about the 20 yard. Third and three. Kelly after the short drop, going out to Joyner, and he's got it at the 26-yard line for a first down. A little quick pass. You can't run a quick out, and if you see the pass, he's got the ball on the way right now. As soon as Joyner turns his head, the ball should be there and give him a chance to catch it and turn up field for extra yardage. One-on-one -on -one coverage is just in the third quarter. And the final play of the third quarter is no gain for Kelly. The time runs out. Three Curry is in the books. We go to the fourth. It's Alex. Second down and 10. Miami from its own 26-yard line. Kelly trying to go to the air. Can't get on track. Down he goes in a heap at the 20-yard line. Jackie Klein. Third down and 21 after the penalty. Kelly out of the pocket. He's across he's, the line. He's, oh, he looked like he was, and it's intercepted at the 35-yard line by Tommy Wilcox. So that's their fourth pick of the day. And Bama back at the 32 of Miami. He was across the line of scrimmage. It makes it an illegal pass, and I would think the ball will have to be, have the referee definitely called that the Kelly had crossed the line of scrimmage. Therefore, it's an illegal forward pass. Alabama can... Uh, I guess refuse the penalty and take the interception. Tommy Wilcox, the fine freshman from Louisiana. 
That's his fourth interception of the year. From the 32-yard line. Sedman's protection breaks down as he gets dropped at the 38-yard line by David Jefferson, who came blitzing in, number 30. David Lott, two, from the 42. Keeley, going deep for Pugh. Incomplete, tipped away. Freddie Marion saved the touchdown, Al. He had, uh, Pugh had gotten behind Coleman again. Let's watch it from the end zone, and it's a play-action pass. Marion, number 31, is playing center field. Pugh is breaking over the middle. Let's watch it. You can see he's behind Coleman, number 25, again. Yard line, third down and 27. Sheely going for Pugh. He's open again. And Pugh is out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Pugh having his biggest day of the season. John Swan, let's watch Pugh go in and out. There's a double coverage, but the safety Swan does not get over to cover Pugh. Look how wide open he is. Good concentration. Watches the ball into his hands. Puts it away at the 15-yard line. Whitman picks up nine and made it down in goal. Sheely gets racked up after the fake to Whitman. Dave Jefferson came barreling through to drop him back at the nine-yard line. Jefferson is the strong safety and was had the blitz on from the outside. Watch Sheely look up to throw just as number 30 is going to hit him, coming right from your right corner of your screen, unblocked. Sheely had no chance. The other man was coming through. And then she had a counter. Down he goes at the seven-yard line. And so that means... We'll see the field goal unit. McElroy and company coming in. Interesting facts that you brought out just prior to the commercial, Frank, about widening the goalposts. What's that, you know, what that what has done? Last year, from this range, last year in college, in major college, 88% of the time it was successful. 25-yard attempt by McElroy is good. And so Alabama attacks up three more on the board. Third and 15, the draw on the high passing room. Tackle with the 20-yard line, shy of the first down by three. Jeremiah Castillo had a first-half interception, number 19, made the stop. Here it is from the end zone. Well, Alabama is very effective with the pass rush, but a great block on the nose guard, Lyles, allowed uh, Hobbs to get into the second there, but look at the red shirt. That's what you're looking for in defensive. And it's still Sheely at quarterback. And a big hole over the right side for Jeff Fagan, number 35. He's only a freshman from Hollywood, Florida. For 21-14 now in the fourth quarter. This is Jones. Joe Jones, Jr. from Thomason, Georgia. Six. From the 35-yard line. It's Pugh again, his seventh reception of the day at the 29-yard line. Gene Coleman made the tackle. Clock running with six in Pasadena against Ohio State. Second down and seven, busted play, and Sheely gets busted himself by Tim Flanagan, number 90. Let's continue that thought, Al, because if, Alabama, if uh, that should happen, UCLA third of the day. Humphrey holding. Kick is long enough, and it's good. So McElroy, three out of six on the afternoon and early following week. Welcome to the world of terminal jet lag, huh? You know a little about that. Oh. <laughs> Hobbs, out to the 27-yard line. So Alabama will be 10-0 in the top 10. It's got out over Utah. That's a first down for Hobbs. Whoa! Boy, does he get hit at the 40-yard line. That shot was delivered by Al Blue, who nearly turned him blue. And he is a freshman also. Let's watch one of the best tackles of the ball game by a young freshman, Al Blue. On the draw play, Hobbs breaks right up the middle and watch number 34. Wow, what a play. Alabama say, well, they play a simple schedule. Second down and 10. Tip. Intercepted. That's five picks today. 
for the tie. This one, Al Blue, who made that hit on Hobbs, and he gets it back to the 40-yard line. A little scuffle over on the sideline, Al. Couldn't tell exactly who was at fault, but second down and inches after the penalty. Setting them 16 to 10. Roderick going back to pass on second down. And he's got Brodsky at the 35-yard line. Down he goes and he stays in, so the clock will be temporarily stopped on the first down and then start again unless Miami takes a timeout here. It's been all Alabama deep at Southern Cal. Uh, like I say, you create a bowl, you have the Trojans in the tide somewhere. <laughs> Lorenzo Roan at the 48-yard line, and that'll do it. Time has run out in Tuscaloosa. The Bears won yet another, 294 for his career. Final score, Tuscaloosa.